Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Mysteries and Oddities video. Well, I normally give a small break of about a day or two when it comes to my videos, but in this case, when it came to this Yahoo article that I came across just today, I felt I definitely had to share it here. I'll include the link for it below, and you'll actually find even more links about the subject that I'm about to talk about. When I was reading all of this information, it definitely got me excited. I think this is gonna be a huge thing. It's apparently only about maybe two months old now, but I think this is gonna definitely be a very big trend. That's why I definitely wanted to share it with everyone here. And once you finish reading all this info, hopefully you'll see why I was so excited to share it with everyone. But it has to do with this. It's gonna sound confusing at first, it did to me as well but once I finished reading all the information um, and I got some sense out of it I'm hoping that everyone here will as well but it's known as this it's called randonautica and then the actual act of doing the thing itself is called randonauting so let's go ahead and let's talk about all the fascinating info associated with this oddity this trend that I again think is going to be huge so again what is randonautica well you're looking at the main web page Page of it now and this is almost like a beta version if I'm not mistaken and there's also several apps that are out there too depending on the phone that you have but the whole notion is this actually the way I read it it's almost like three things in one number one is it's just a way to explore new places on its simplest terms like that's essentially one way another way is it's finding out if you can quote unquote break the matrix like it's almost like trying to do something completely random against of what you normally do and seeing if whatever simulation we live in if we can break it in other words and then on the third part is it's almost more on the lines of a mind over matter thing can you manifest something out of reality based on what you're thinking and this app is supposed to definitely help when it comes to that fascinating no i mean are you getting excited about it like i was when i was reading about these possibilities well let's go ahead and let's see exactly what it means and you'll see now this image which is very eerie this is a this undulating image when you go to the website you just see it move about in a random fashion this is supposed to visualize essentially what it creates it's all these points that are considered either random or are considered more uh, centric like more concentrated and both of those come into play later on whenever you're trying to do your thing whenever it's called randonauting but first let's talk about essentially what that is um, and I highly recommend reading the article there's also a YouTube uh, link that I'll include as well which is from the main page itself and it goes over tutorial of what it is but essentially randonauting is using a random number generator to produce specific coordinates close to your current location and the whole point is to explore whatever that random location is and just to see what's there remember I was mentioning earlier that's one of the one notion on there as far as you just being able to explore something that you normally <clears throat> wouldn't because you'd be surprised when when you think about it when you truly do think about it most of us will go just to a specific set of coordinates on a daily basis it's a ran it's not a randomness associated with it it's just a routine you'll either go to work or you'll go to school or if you're going to family members or anything along those lines you will be basically within a certain area a familiar set of areas throughout all times well this is supposed to break it you're just supposed to then use this to find a brand new thing that you normally would never have gone to and then you're supposed to explore it but um, as it further continues it says it's essentially using a true random generator to calculate location coordinates and then going to the explorers to get out of your routine and go to a specific local place you probably never noticed it but then also a lot of users use it to explore and experiment with ideas about quantum mechanics and consciousness and to basically see what happens when you go to the place the universe doesn't expect so that was more than the lines of the second thing i was mentioning where it was where instead of going on this routine basis where you're going to a specific coordinate on a daily like base like when it comes to whatever you're doing Monday through Friday or even on the weekends what if instead of turning left you turn right or what if instead stopping at a certain point you go one street forward you're breaking the matrix like and I read those theories too how people are stating that 
we all live in some kind of matrix, for lack of a better term, or who knows, we're living in someone else's dream or they're living in ours, something along those lines. And so it's about finding and proving individuality or proving that there is truly a reality where you exist. Well, this is supposed to help along those lines because it's almost like using a simulation to make sure that, yes, this random nodding will exactly prove that you are not part of a simulation because the system would expect you to go to some place, but here you are breaking that and then going someplace else. Very, very fascinating stuff when I was reading that. And then on the third part, as the random knot website explains, it says, many people explore random coordinates in an attempt to experience the mind-matter interaction phenomenon and to find enhancement and magic in the world around them. This is the part that got me the most excited. You know, have, have you ever heard of that game where it involves involves going like let's say any place outside and then trying to control the clouds above you and the whole notion is those clouds will be manipulated by your thoughts such as the case here because as you can see from the website itself you're supposed to then click on it while you're thinking a particular thought whatever that thought is it's just the first thing that comes to mind something random whatever it comes to mind then it'll set coordinates and then you go specifically to those coordinates and you'll find something that parallels exactly what you were thinking that's the whole notion of of, of the third part of this random thing it's about being mind over matter it's about controlling where you're going but having a random number generator being able to to freakishly find something related to what you were thinking like that was really really creepy when I was thinking about it and I was telling myself can this actually work can people actually control a random plot generator something on Google Maps because the, one of the links is you'll find the coordinates through Google Maps specifically can somebody control what Google Maps will tell you to go to and link it to what you were thinking at the same time and lo and behold there's a reddit website that the website for for the random knot that has specifically two and people are posting their results such as the case here in fact I printed out some of them for you here I did some print screens like this one here this person thought my intention was love and something about love still exists and so when they went to the coordinates they found right there in that road a red heart painted right on the bottom of the ground coincidence maybe who knows but still that is very very eerie when one thinks about it and then this next one you'll see their intentions were something involving the word creepy and so it took them to a location where it was a plant covered building with a wooden door just randomly there just super out of place it was almost cracked open like hey you want to come inside that kind of deal but at the same time, something was blocking it. And so they considered it a very spooky trip. And so they thought it was a success because, again, their intention was creepy. And then that was their initial result. And then this one, this other person, their intentions were money. And so the exact coordinates that they went to was this spot where it was almost like the universe giving them the middle finger as to their intention, almost in a laughing manner, like whether they're going to get their money or not, who knows? but then in this case they also considered it almost like a success of sorts and then this other one that I wanted to highlight here this one it could work it goes to show just examples of you know how sometimes it's more spot on and other times it's not in this case their intention was the word king and when they went there for whatever reason they found this Elmo doll that was right there but it was just clearly abandoned and then there it was could there be a loose intention like in this case it being at one point Elmo Elmo the doll was king of the toy world everyone wanted to have him there was the hottest toy ever and now they're not who knows but again that's another example of there and then I just wanted to highlight one more as well when it came to these examples in this case the intention was the word strange and then it took them to this area and as you can see it was a gigantic garbage pile just 
randomly there and it looks strange and out of the ordinary and then the people wanted to leave immediately so you can see i hope those pictures prove essentially what you're trying to do here um, either a you know explore new things but try to also use a random intention in your mind to create the location and have it match exactly where you're going to fascinating stuff when i was reading all this info i just had to try it out so what i've done is i've created now my own coordinates in this case my intention was a name a name of someone in my past that is just completely random like and i don't have no idea how this particular uh, generator would know that name because it's 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 a unique name and we'll see if it works but it gave me coordinates and I'm going to try it out soon and then see where it takes me and then I'll take a picture of it as well and then I'll share it with everyone too and I'll tell you what the results are was it a success was it not was I able to break the matrix was I able to have mind over matter help uh, it be a success on that regard or is it just something else like just randomly exploring things we shall see but all of this again is hugely hugely fascinating but what do you guys think as far as this particular uh, phenomena seems to be new, but again, I think it's going to be really, really huge. Randonautica, again, is the website. I'll include the link for it below. There are several apps that you can download as well. And randonauting is the official term. And people seem to be doing multiple, multiple times when it comes to the randonauting. And that was just a very brief set of examples. There's like hundreds more that are out there and it was fascinating to look at them I, I spent a little bit of a wormhole going through them um, i'll include the link for that reddit spot as well i highly recommend doing so but you'll get to see just how eerie this app is apparently there's also error messages that can occur because it seems like if you're trying to cheat the system like if whatever you're thinking in your mind I don't know how, again, this app is supposed to figure it out, but if you're trying to think like chicken and you think of a location that involves chicken already, like it's it's not going to work. Instead, it has to be just completely, absolutely random. What are the chances? The lower the expectation, the better the results, in other words, like when it comes to um, how uniquely random that is. So we shall see. So try it out, everyone. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know what your results are, too. As always... Here, when it comes to visiting these places, I ex put extreme caution. If it's a private property, do not explore it. Like, do not jump over any fences, anything along those lines. The good news is, it seems like the random generator seems to recognize what's the difference between private closed properties and open properties. Because everything that I was mentioning earlier, as far as those other examples, it seems to point to those places being out there on public streets like instead of it being in a house it'll be on the side of the road next to a house that kind of stuff so again if it, but if you do run into one where it's it's on clearly closed property then don't don't just don't make any trouble for yourself like just ignore it and then try something else altogether but again i do think this is going to be huge randonauting i think it's going to be an absolutely big trend that'll continue throughout the summer and then it'll grow afterward it's almost like it reminded me of the big phenomenon with Pokemon, whenever people started to explore outside spaces for it, except this, in this in this case, this will be the entire uh, area, the entire world, if, if possible, when it comes to you exploring and the possibilities there. You can even make a uh, circumference when it comes to your exploration, just to make sure that, 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 again, you're not having to drive too far out. But fascinating stuff. Let me know what your guys and gals results are. Try it out if you can. I'll give you my results soon. And then we'll see together how close this thing works. Mind over matter. This is probably the closest app there is to it. And I am so, so fascinated by that. So, all right, everybody. Thanks again, as always. Take care.